here with the general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Uh, my beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is wonderful to have you here, and I'm pretty excited to be here as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into a general reading. We're going to be looking out. Uh, my intention for this energies um, is to go out the next seven to ten days, knowing that each and every one of us move a little bit differently in our lives and through our experiences. So your timing might be a little bit different. Um, we are going to be looking in into the general energies and I'll be digging deeper um, in the general reading. For the extended reading, I will be looking at the people who are around you and what they think about you um, and how you affect them. Um, and then we'll be taking this scenario out maybe the next month or the next couple of months. So that's the plan for this reading, Capricorn, and um, I hope it is helpful for you. Current energy for Capricorn. Current energy now for Capricorn. Current energy now for Capricorn. Current energy for Capricorn. Well, I'm going to um, summarize this reading first, and then we can dig deeper into into um, some of these some of these energies here. We have the two of wands energy, so there's definitely the, this is definitely a group of people here trying to figure out um, what to do. Um, there there is some sort of choice here for the for this group. Um, I think that it's it's not so much as finding the truth of a situation. It's not so much as maybe. Um, trying to figure out what you're going to do first. It's more of a bigger kind of a question. Um, which way do I go? Do I go um, to the left or to the right? Do I go uphill or downhill? Um, so it's, it's, it's more of a question of which way to go. And then maybe perhaps for some of you, how to exactly do it. Um, which method would work best? It's, it's kind of like, do I go with this business, business plan or do it go, I do it. Or do I go with this business plan? Or do I um, um, do I purchase a home now? Or do I wait for a few months and purchase a home? Or um, what will prices do? Will they go up or will they go down? Or what will I, what should I invest in? Will um, stocks and bonds continue to go down or will they go back up? And so it's a question of um, what strategy to take. So there's a lot of people here um, with Capricorn that are in some sort of a dilemma about what way to go and, and what decision to make. And the two of wands can be an energy that can um, really stop us because this is about taking action, right? It's it's not about sitting and and pondering um, a, a problem. It's It's about, okay, um, I have to make a decision because there's action to be taken. There, there's something waiting to happen. There could be a deadline. There could be an urgency um, with the two of wands. So um, there, this is a group of people that are actively here trying to figure out um, what strategy to take. Um, we do have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something here that is... Um, when the King of Pentacles is in reverse... It does talk about um, maybe next to the two of wands and, and in between the devil energy, there could just be a, a lack of knowing. Um, uh, maybe maybe there's not all the information. Maybe not all the information is there. Um, the king of pentacles, when the king of pentacles in, in reverse, remember, what does the king of pentacles like? He likes to have all the data. He likes to have everything in front of him so he can look at it. He can make decisions. He likes to have his portfolio in front of him. He likes to have clear information. Um, he likes to know exactly what the game plan is, right? And so you have um, a group of people here that for some reason or another aren't, um, are in a place where they're needing to take action, but they don't have all the information they need um, to do that. And so um, the King of Pentacles, which would be you, Capricorn, because you are a, um, a pentacle energy, um, this is you uh, trying to make a decision here and maybe not having all of the information that you need or maybe not feeling stable enough to make a decision because the King of Pentacles um, likes to make makes a decision when he or she feels stable about it, when he or she has put all of the puzzles together and to make a decision and usually is around money or resources or our reality, um, how we experience our reality, whether it's with our homes or with our businesses, with our 
um, overall picture, overall movement that we make in a big way. Remember the Queen of Pentacles looks at the details and carries things forward and um, knows how to implement, you know, the details of a project. The King of Pentacles um, is is somebody who looks at the big picture. So this this Two of Wands energy, this is this could be a big picture kind of item here for this group of Capricorns. Um, we have the devil energy here too, and, and this could be talking about a lot of intensity, Capricorn, a lot of quiet intensity. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, I think that the population or the, or the mass public doesn't really understand how intense the King of Pentacles can, can be or the Queen of Pentacles can be in, inside. This intensity can be, um, covered by a calm, by a compassionate calmness, but inside there could be a fierce intensity. And this can um, lead to um, lack of moderation in life. It can lead to fear. It can it can be pushed by fear and anxiety. Uh, because remember, the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. So something isn't stable um, for this group of people. Um, so so we'll dig deeper into these energies just in a minute here. Um, just a little bit. I want to dig more deeper into the future. So I want to spend more time in this reading in the in the future. But I do think it's it it'd be interesting to look just a little bit deeper into the two of wands and maybe a little bit deeper into the devil energy to see what we can find there we do have a high priestess here now this could be a person that's around you whether it's a male or female um, energy it could be your energy but the high priestess is a, a quieter energy uh, um, a energy of holding information in um, but holding it in in a way that there is a serenity about it so it does feel like this could be something that you could be suffering alone. You could be um, not speaking about this. You could be really trying to connect in with yourself to find the right thing to do. Um, you could be connecting in with your spiritual team or your religious system or um, connecting in with um, what you were taught as a child, what you connect with um, when you're in times of trouble. Um, the high priestess is a quieter energy, but the high priestess can be intense energy as well. She knows what to say and what not to say. And she knows about timing, when to say it and when not to say it. So I, I do feel like you could be here in this situation, almost feeling like you're in this situation by yourself. Um, I feel for most of you, you, you're in this situation kind of by yourself here. And you might not be saying a whole lot about it. Let's see what we can get out of the Two of Wands. More information about the two of wands judgment energy judgment energy it came in kind of it kind of flopped in didn't it kind of just slowly flopped in my friends almost like a slippery fish and just flopping right in there this one came out much stronger king of swords The judgment energy is is an energy that um, sometimes it, it's a, it's an energy that can brew. Um, what do I mean? Like it can bake for a while. There could be a situation that's kind of baking um, under the radar. Um, it could be something that's been festering um, within a situation, within a workplace or within a family or whatever kind of situation you're dealing with. I think this is something that's been festering. It's been building. Um, when the judgment energy comes, there, there are changes and, um, it's usually something that can be, um, it can be feel wonderful. It can feel great. Um, usually when we have the judgment energy, there has been, if it feels great for you, um, there has been injustice there so that it would feel great. That means that there has been something that you've been suffering, something that um, is, it, there's, it's time for the universe to come in and, and correct that. Um, sometimes it can be a situation where um, nothing really can be done, like something has to happen, something has to boil over, um, there has to be um, uh, the last straw, there has to be one last thing that really pushes a situation into upheaval or into making a change. So sometimes it can be a little bit painful, the judgment energy, but it does create change. It does bring in new circumstances. It's like it can create a clean slate, no matter if it's painful or if it's not painful. Um, it can create a clean slate. So there could be something here that could be um, cleaning for you, whether it's painful or not. It's something that's opening up. Um, the King of Swords is here. This could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. doesn't have to be one of those three signs. Um, but this energy is an energy of 
um, seeing the big picture, trying to find the big picture, um, understanding what's happening, making good decisions. So there could be a little bit of a slowdown because I think the King of Swords um, is, is not always the fastest energy. The judgment energy sometimes is not always the fastest energy too. So judgment energy can be slower. Um, so this could be somewhat of a slow energy, my friends, Capric Capricorn. But this is also a careful energy. The King of Pentacles is a careful energy. The devil energy, I feel like there's just a lot of intensity here. Maybe anxiety, anger. Slower decision-making process here. I like that the King of Swords is here. If there's anybody that can put something together, it's the King of Swords. Is there anyone that can find the right decision? The King of Swords is a professional at it. Remember, he's a judge. He's a, he's a police officer. He's the... He's the um, captain. He He's somebody that can see um, how to do something equitably. Um, this could be a humanitarian energy here as well, the King of Swords. Okay, let's look at the devil energy. Devil energy now. Information about the devil energy, Two of Swords. Wanting to try to try to find the truth here, King of Wands. I think there's an urgency to take action. The King of Wands likes to be in action. He likes to be out there doing things. He likes to be in control of his own destiny. He likes to be building. He likes to be designing. He likes to be performing. He likes to be presenting. Right? He he likes to be doing things. He's he he feels best when he's in action. And here is this Two of Swords energy, like. What do I do? What do I do? I can't see. It's night. I can't see. I'm worried about something. I'm feeling really emotional about it. What's behind me? What's in front of me? What's to the side of me? It's just really hard to tell. Looking for the truth, looking for the, the, the evidence, the truth here, but really wanting to move forward. So these are energies that are butting heads together. You do have the King of Swords here trying to see the truth in this situation. Okay. And you have the judgment energy that's creating the change. And then you have this King of Wands energy, this, this urge and this passion to move forward and start doing something here with the King of Wands. What does the King of Wands have to say? I'm going to move on here in just a minute. I just want to see what does the King of Wands have to say here? Six of Pentacles. Looking for balance, chariot, yeah. Looking for balance, looking for um, financial balance, looking for what maybe wanting to do some kind of charity with the Six of Pentacles. Um, looking, um, the Six of Pentacles, see, this, this King of Wands is wanting to do something, to be active in something. And when you put the Six of Pentacles together with a the chariot, um, there's there could be, a project that's um, getting started. There could be a new um, job that's ready to get started. There could be some sort of nonprofit work with the Six of Pentacles because there is a lot of generosity in the Six of Pentacles. The King of Wands could just be looking for um, stability and finances and ready to get moving and feeling good about it, but somehow not knowing exactly which way to go here, not knowing which way to turn, especially the chariot. You know, you got to know how to steer that chariot. You have to know, you know, how to how to control those horses and, st and steer it in the right direction. And if you don't really know what the map is, you don't really know what the GPS is saying, you don't really know how to, how to steer that chariot forward. Um, the Six of Pentacles is here, though, so I, I do feel like there is either some sort of, of urgency to find the Six of Pentacles, to find financial balance, um, or, to find, or to connect in with, with some sort of generosity, some sort of equal give and take. Um, and so there's a real urgency with this group of people. Let's go ahead and see what's here in the future. Let me keep my main cards because I'll keep these for the extended. All right, let's look and see what the future is here. Queen of Pentacles energy. 
Now, all of these other energies came in sideways like this. They just all did. So it's really interesting that they did, did that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the upright. Uh, we just need to remember that all of these energies came in sideways. So um, I just think that this is beginning to build. Something is beginning to build here for Capricorn. It's beginning to build. And guess who's building it? Queen of Pentacles. Details. So as you move into the future here, as you move into the next toe, I don't know, month, three three weeks, month or something like that, it's a focus on the details, focus on getting, get, putting one foot in front of the other, implementing, doing what needs to be done. The Queen of Pentacles is responsible and reliable. Um, she's compassionate. She cares about her health. She cares about her well-being. Um, she's firm. She's softly firm. She's very stubborn, the Queen of Pentacles is. Um, you might not know that when you first connect with the Queen of Pentacles, but there is a quiet stubbornness. Remember, there is that intensity there. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is, is the backbone, right? She's really the backbone of operation. So in whatever situation this is for you, you're going to become your own backbone. Or there's something about a backbone here. Um, she's holding a coin. Um, and I, I think she's just quite it's sensitive to her environment here. Uh, very alert about what's going on. She's getting to work. She's looking at the details. She's maybe budgeting or she is um, doing some in-depth planning. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is also great at implementing. She's great at pushing things forward and making sure that all the details are there and everything's being done. She can make lists. She can create calendars. She can um, create timelines and project um, implement Im, implementation charts. I mean, she can do all of that. So she's an organizer and she's not just an organizer. She's a doer. So um, whether, you know, she, she's pretty much can do everything. Um, what she has a harder time with is looking at the big picture. But I think in the current energy, you are looking at the big picture because you have the King of Pentacles here. So it's almost like you look at the big picture now. Um, and then as you move into the future, um, you start really working in the details of it. We do have the Nine of Pentacles here as well. This is having the energy to make your own decisions, um, um, really stepping into a, 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 an energy of personal strength. And Because look, we have the Strength energy here. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. So um, there, there is an energy of knowing now of, of your capacities and your skills and understanding your own personal strength. This isn't your strength that you have with another person, the strength that you have when you combine a team together, the strength that you have when you walk into a room with your spouse or with your with your romantic partner, or with your best friend. This is having strength as one person um, and, and understanding what that is, understanding who you are and your identity, understanding that you have the ability to stand on your own and stand tall in this situation um, because um, this is the Nine of Pentacles talks about individual freedom, individual strength, the, uh, the awareness of the power of, of one person and the strength and um, the, the fortitude and also what, what can be done when we stand up as one and have a voice and make a decision. So I see a lot of with the strength energy here in the Nine of Pentacles, I see a lot of um, realizing um, how much you can do just as as yourself just as an individual energy. I do like that the nine of pentacles is here and mixed with this one pentacle here. I think you're really working your way now into feeling that safety and security um, financially or within a home or within your everyday existence. You are working your way into feeling that again. Remember the 10 of pentacles doesn't have to be millions and billions of dollars. It is sometimes a feeling. It is. It doesn't have to be. It can, it can be having a, a small uh, emergency fund, it, you know, depending on where you are financially, um, the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles mean something different on a scale for every one of us, depending on where we were before, you know, you could have been um, a millionaire 10 years ago, but you could have went bankrupt. And now you could be starting over again and having um, $10,000 in your savings account could feel like the 10 of pentacles to you. Whereas 10 years ago, having $10 million would have been the 10 of pentacles. So remember, it's a perspective. It's a feeling. And each one of us, depending, I mean, unless, unless you're out on the street, which I know some people are, which is heartbreaking. Um, and even when you're, you know, just having a warm bed to sleep in for a night can feel like the 10 of pentacles. It depends on your mindset and, and where, where you are in this sliding scale of what the 10 of pentacles means. So um, I do think that there is an attempt here. There is a striving for, there is work being done so that you can 
have that feeling again, that you can have that security again for yourself. There is an energy here of self-reliance, self Again, I'm going back to the self, and I, I do think it's in a very individual energy. Now, we do have the Four of Wands here, which is an energy of creating a foundation, creating a shelter. Um, and there's two people here. So um, you could be finding your own team, or you could be um, figuring out how you're going to mesh your project with another person's project, or how you're going to work with another person. You could be um, creating an agreement around some sort of um, a process you're going to have. Um, perhaps if you are joining a team, you could be outlining what you're going to do, where you're going to work. Are you going to work at home? Are you going to work at the office? And how are you going to communicate? And what is the schedule? And what are the procedures? And what are the guidelines? That's the four of wands. Creating safety, creating a shelter, creating um, a basket in which you can um, feel supported and you can feel like the work that you're doing or the focus that you're having is going to be supported. It's going to be um, used. It's going to be held to be valuable. And the four of wands can also mean I'm um, creating a stability at home, right? Um, remember there's four wands. And if one of these wands is gone or one of these wands is bent or damaged, it can really affect the stability of the other wand. So it, it talks about having something here that's fair, that's consistent for everyone that feels good. It's a win-win situation with the four of wands. So um, whatever the situation is, you're not only looking for your own self um, safety and security and abundance. You are looking here to work somehow with someone else and create um, a safe and reliable and abundant um, shelter so that the action that's being taken is, is a um, it's a, it has good results and has positive um, feelings around it and that you can take action in your own natural way that feels good to you and it will be welcomed, right? That's the four of wands. We also have the strength energy. So the strength energy is a realization of your inner strength of that fierce lion within you, that you do have passion within you. You do have strength within you. And when you're in the strength energy, um, there is a, um, a, a, a way that you can fine tune that line within you so that you can, you can connect in with it. You can use the energy from it. But when you do that, you learn how to control it so that you use that energy, that strength, that passion, that pushing forward, stepping into new frontiers, doing something that's really hard that maybe you weren't, wouldn't have been able to do five years ago. And now you can do it because you have learned and you have grown and you have um, new abilities that, that you have from your experiences or just even this strength that you have accumulated over the years from your experiences. And you can connect in with that strength, but you can also fine tune it so that you're not um, plowing into a situation and creating chaos, or you're not saying words um, that are um, harsh in a way, or that are creating um, additional negative situations that the words that you say and the actions that you take are abundant in nature, um, that you use that passion and that strength within you to move forward in, in such a way um, to build rather than to break down, to build people rather than break them down, to build situations rather than to break them down. So um, again, this is a group of you that I feel while you might be today or tomorrow or in the next few days, not really sure how to move forward. I do feel like in the next month or so, you're going to find yourself really in, in action now, looking at the details, starting to implement, feeling your own personal uh, power and your own personal awareness, starting to create a foundation, a shelter around um, the actions that you're taking and um, really living in the strength energy where you are using that passion within you, but um, defining it in an abundant way, in a way that builds rather than breaks. So let's look now at, um, well, I'm interested in the Four of Wands, and I'm kind of interested here in the Nine of Pentacles. So let's start with the Four of Wands first, see if we can get more information about this Four of Wands. Temperance energy, Sagittarius energy. Here you are, the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Here's Leo energy. Four of Wands. Whoa. It's just too many here. But that came face forward. I'm going to take that card. See what I can get out of this. Sun. So we have this passion with Leo here, the strength and the sun. So we have temperance over the top of the Four of Wands. We have temperance, the Five of Swords, and the sun. So it looks like in the past now, 
or there even could be something that's going on around you right currently right now or even in the future there is some sort of a um I, I feel like this is in the past because the sun is over the top. So in the past, you could have had some sort of a confusing conversation or you could have been in a mind bender of a social situation where it was just like, well, I don't really get what's going on here. Um, it, you, you might have had to stick up for yourself or express yourself in a way that created a conflict. Um, you could have had to say, you know what, this is what is most healthy for me. And so um, this is the decision I'm making. And it could have really... Um, people around you could have really um, not liked that. Uh, when you're in the Five of Swords, it's usually a, a um, it usually has to do with confusion, um, mind bending kind of conversations where you could have felt very um, comfortable with your decision, and then you talk to someone and they ask you a question that could just send you into a tither or make you really question what you had decided. And usually with the Five of Swords, it does kind of wear on your soul or it kind of pierces your heart in a way that you would have to be forced to do this kind of a kind of a fight with the Five of Swords. So it's an it's a it's a fight, it's a it's a battle, it's only a five. It's nothing hugely nothing nothing huge or major, but it does kind of tear at you. It tears at your heart. It confuses the mind and it really causes you in a way to step forward and, and be in your own strength and your own power. Um, it's a five energy. It creates change. And, it, and the, I think the five of swords is probably the most uncomfortable five energy. Um, but some, and, and all of us have to be in the five of swords at, at some point in a, uh, or another. Um, there is a temperance energy now over the top. So that means that it looks like there is a, a, a gentling energy. Um, there is patience. There is, it looks like there's some sort of a resolution here um, with this situation, with the temperance energy. It's a Sagittarius energy full of compassion and patience and understanding that things can be complicated, understanding that there is another side to it and understanding what the other side is with the Five of Swords, understanding what um, the, the other party feels and, and what they're coming from. Um, and what, if the other party realizes your, your feelings and where you're coming from, sometimes there can be win-win situations, right? Um, there can be solutions that are found that feel good and are fair for everyone. And I think with the temperance over the top of the five, with the five of the swords over the top of the temperance with the sun on top tells me that I think that there's some sort of a recovery here or a solution that's coming in, um, that is, um, brings an answer that brings something valuable and helpful forward and very beneficial forward. And I feel with the sun on top of the strength energy, that's probably your energy here. I'm um, really knowing how to step forward in a way that you know you need to, but finding a solution or saying the words or taking action in a way that builds people up rather than breaks it down. So understanding that the words that we say and the actions that we take can really um, set our trajectory in one direction or another. And so um, this is these are very positive energy. It's, I think this group of people here are in a very positive place and they're understanding um, instead of saying, you know, I really don't like what you did. Um, it really affected the work. It really affected the revenue. Um, you might instead say, um, let me, can you, can you help me understand, um, the decision you made? I'm just interested to in know why you made this decision because, um, it, it is, a, it was an interesting decision. I'm interested in it and then find out. I mean, don't take me word for word because, um, this could be even the wrong thing to say too. Uh, but then when you find out, then you really absorb that information. Maybe there's something that is good to learn uh, about what the person was thinking. And then once you know what they're thinking or where they came from, um, then you can say, well, here's what we have now. Here's the challenge that we have now. And um, what do you think about this where we are now? Do you have any ideas about this? Maybe can you help me think through this? Um, or this is what I was thinking. What do you think about this? Instead of so, so it's finding out what the person was thinking in their perspective and then moving forward in a way that they don't feel bad about what they did, um, that it's solving some kind of a situation, solving a problem. Now, of course, I'm not a, a licensed professional in human behavior or any, any, in anything like that. So please don't copy that. Um, that, that conversation because it, it may not be even the right conversation to have anyway. Um, but, but that's how you would do it where you wouldn't break someone down or make someone feel, um, diminished, but rather help build them and help build the situation up. And that's what the strength energy can do. And that's hard to do too. Sometimes that's harder to do than the other, than the other way. So, um, I, I really do see here that there is a, a solution coming in that's going to be, 
um, effective and positive here. Um, let's go into this Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine of Wands. Two nines. So you're... Two nines. You're about to figure this out. You're about to take care of this. You know, there's something here that you're not really liking. Maybe, maybe some choices were taken away from you here. Let's see if there's anything else that comes out. This might be all we have here. There's that judgment energy trying to come out again. See? So there's something here that Something could have happened quite quickly or in a surprising way um, that it could have been quite quickly here and it, it could have been something that displeased you or um, wasn't exactly what you were thinking. It could have taken away your own ability to make a choice. So there, there could have been some kind of choice made where you weren't uh, um, included in, in that decision. Um, something that you didn't like here. It's something maybe that um, you have your own cause, you have your own belief system, you have your own ways of doing it, and you've been around. I mean, you've been around for a while. You've been in the trenches. The Nine of Wands is that um, expertise energy. You know, you have your dedications, you have your passions, you have your tools, and you have your ways of doing things, and you know what you're doing. The Nine of Wands, you know what you're doing with the Nine of Wands. You've, you've been that's a wounded warrior. That's a warrior energy. And that's learning from experience. So um, you have quite a powerful toolbox. And perhaps there was a situation here or there is a situation here that um, took that um, toolbox away or didn't really give you the opportunity to participate in something. And it could have happened quite quickly. It could have been really passionate. Um, it could have been someone here who was really excited about something, um, really enthused about something and wanted to just rush into it really quickly, like the Knight of Wands can. Um, and it could have just um, not been the right choice for you, or you would have recommended something different here um, with with the, with the Four of Cups or the Nine of Wands. But I do see that it, it feels like it's going to work itself out, or you're going to be... Um, able to really step forward now and help to say the things that you need to say to create this new foundation or to rebuild it again so that there's new stability here. So this could be in love. This could be in business. Uh, this could be at home. This could be in so many different ways, Capricorn. I'm just going into the energy. So it's up to you now to say, well, this is, this is definitely my relationship or yeah, this is what's happening at work. You know, so um, I know that there's no love energies here per se, and there's, you know, th there is a pentacles energy, which could be work or, or, um, managing your wealth or whatever, but it, this energy can go over the top of pretty much any kind of a situation. It's just the energies that we're looking into. So with that, um, I hope that helps. I, I like that the, that the sun came out and I like that the temperance energy is here, um, and it looks like you're you're really finding a solution for yourself that brings in this new um, stability for for yourself. Um, so I think with that, I'm going to end it here. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to move to the extended now and look at the people who are around you and, and how they think about this situation, how they think about you. And then I'll take it farther out into the future, um, out into the next month or so in the extended. All right, my friends, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to read for you. All right. Bye.